Welcome back. In this video, I'll be teaching you everything that you need to know about E. coli for step 1 exam. First, let's talk about the different types of E. coli. So the first type is called hemorrhagic E. coli. And it's also known as E. coli 0157. And it transmits via undercooked meat and raw vegetables. This bacteria causes hemolytic uremic syndrome, which is anemia, thrombocytopenia, and acute renal failure. And there will be necrosis of the mucosa lining of the intestine by the action of the toxin, not the action of the bacteria. And we call this dysentery. And it's the only type that does not ferment on sorbitol, which is very important to know. The second type is called enteropathogenic E. coli, and it mainly causes pediatric diarrhea. So just remember that pediatric starts with P, and pathogenic starts with P as well. The mechanism behind it is that the bacteria itself will adhere to the intestinal mucosa and causes flattening and death of the villi. So this will prevent absorption and cause diarrhea. So it, the action is mediated by the bacteria itself, not by a toxin. The third type is called interior toxic E. coli, and it causes travelers diarrhea, which happens to be watery diarrhea. So just remember that toxic starts with T, and travelers starts with T as well and does not cause any inflammation or does not invade the mucosa. And it does not cause any inflammation and does not invade the mucosa. The fourth and last type is called interior invasive E. coli. And from the name invasive, you know that it invades the intestinal mucosa to cause dysentery. And finally, to treat E. coli, we use penicillins and cephalosporins. Alright guys, that's everything I've got. Hopefully I made this easier for you and see you guys later.